Hey Pisces, I missed you. Thank you for checking out my channel for the love of water tarot. It's your girl Kianti, and I'm going to bring us a reading strictly about love, okay? Again, this is going to be for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, as well as the Pisces Cross Watcher. Can't forget about you. It could definitely resonate from your perspective. Guys, it is a general reading, so everything I say won't resonate for every last single one of you. Please, please, please use your discernment. Keep what resonates for you. Release what doesn't. If it doesn't resonate at all, please resist the urge to tell me in the comments. It's kind of redundant since I've already said it's a general read, all right? If I get it right for the rest of you guys, Make sure you take care of your girl with the like, comment, subscribe, and a share. And if you guys are interested in booking me for a private reading, my email information is provided in the description box below the video. And that email address is for the love of water tarot at gmail.com. Pisces, I have to warn you, I did the spread for myself a few days ago first to see how I would feel, and it was a little triggering. It may be a little triggering for us, for you too. I don't know what's going to come out, but I'm going to read it intuitively. I'm going to tell you just how I see it. Please don't shoot the messenger, okay? What's going on in love for Pisces, spirit? What's going on for love? What should we expect? What do we need to know, spirit? Give me messages for love for Pisces, spirit. Of course, our cards always want to flip on over. Okay. Tell me more children. So, Pisces, these cards are saying that children probably are um, involved in this somewhere. Or this is someone that you've known since childhood. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius here. Okay. Give me some more. Okay. Oh. And what's this last one that flipped out in one or two? Okay. <laughs> Underneath the deck is the family tree. There's cultural differences. There's cultural differences, different values, beliefs, traditions that pose a challenge to this connection. Okay. Spicy, some of you are definitely dealing with someone from a different culture, value system, religious, religion, or background. Doesn't have to be for everyone. Pisces, here is what I'm seeing. Now, again, for some of you, this this is this is could definitely be dealing with someone who you either have a family with, someone that you've known since childhood, or you so, something about your family tree. This could be someone who your family's been friends that's been around your family, or vice versa. Some of you are definitely maybe dealing with the Sagittarius. I do see the energy of children. And, and that children card literally says children are affecting this connection. Be patient and allow them to resolve things for the highest good of all. Okay? Pisces, there is an energy of divinely got, being divinely guided here. The card says you have met your divine flame. Just follow the signs to your soul and everything will occur in divine timing. Pisces, I do feel like this is how your person is feeling. I feel like the, your person feels are, is feeling very divinely guided. They feel like they have met their divine flame. Uh, Ugh, divine flame now here's the frequency energy they are aligning to the frequency of love and operating at a high frequency vibration with openness to receiving so I feel like this person here and there could be children between the both of you you could have children they could have children or, or, or we've already we've already explored the children aspect of this thing or maybe this is just something that's going to start in the baby phases, but I feel like this person is being divinely guided towards you. This this is like you guys definitely, the flame is very high, but the flame is lit between you and this person. This person is changing their frequency. And here's what's funny here. Next was the fight. Their inner warrior is being activated. They're getting ready to fight for you and overcome their fears of love. Okay, so this card is, these cards are literally saying that this person is being divinely guided to change their frequency. I feel like they're fighting with their inner self. This feels like fight, uh, fighting with oneself. The inner warrior is being activated. Okay. And the last card is game over. They fear your wrath. They know you're no longer entertaining their half-hearted effort. Okay. All right. Pisces, the, the fight is get the fight, the fight with the fight and game over. <laughs> Here, Pisces, I don't want to say this and sound um, arrogant, but it feels like you, you won, Pisces. It feels like you won, honestly, okay? I do feel like whatever's been going on with you and this person, it feels like you win. This person is being divinely guided to change their frequency. They are having some sort of inner battle or turmoil with oneself, but their inner warrior is being activated, Pisces. It feels like in this situation with love, if this is resonating, 
course, my pen doesn't write. This is a brand new pen, though, so that's ridiculous. Come on, there we go. Yes, Pisces, it feels like in this situation, if this is resonating in love, this is a you win. Game over, you win. My pen is, this is so freaking annoying. I'm trying not to get annoyed. I just threw the pen. Let me get another one. Sorry, baby sharks. I feel like this person is saying the game is over and you win. I feel like this person is being divinely guided for sure. Yes, they are aligning. They are aligning to the frequency of love and operating at a high frequency vibration with openness to receive. Yes, so this person does want your love. They want to receive love from you, Pisces. Let me get some for this children's energy. Let's see what messages clarify this. Ooh. Divinely guided. Euphoria. Pisces, what came out under the children is a void. Now, either this person is like literally, for some of you, this is an immature person. And this could be why the children is here. This person has been avoiding doing some mature shit, making some mature decisions here. Or this literally a situation dealing with children, blocking, escaping, and pushing away. Like I feel like there could be a situation dealing with children that cannot be avoided. There, there could literally be a situation with children where th if this person lives in a home with children, they could literally be like avoiding going home. Divinely guided was clarified with euphoria. Pisces, this person is divinely guided to come towards you. Chasing thrills, joy, laughter. It feels like this person wants to be happy with you. Something about your smile I'm hearing here, Pisces. Frequency is, is clarified with depth, complexity, awareness, importance. See, this person, listen, this person's frequency is changing. Whatever's going on with this person is very complex, but this person is aware of how important this relationship or this situation is. Yeah, pride, you could be dealing with the Leo. This person is fully aware. Oh, look, the fight, clarity. All Pisces, they see things clearly now. Honest, intention, truth, the fight. Their inner worry is being activated, right? They're getting ready to fight for you and overcome their fears of love with clarity. This person is getting ready to be honest and tell you their intentions and their truth. I feel like this is the inner, this is the inner fight with them to do this. There's an inner struggle with this person. I feel it. They want to fight for this. I do feel like there's a lot of pride and ego. Look, look, and look what's under the deck. Only you. I'm telling you, yes. So let's see why the game is over here, Pisces. I feel like you won. They fear your wrath. They know you're no longer entertaining their half-hearted half effort. Look, rejection. Yes, Pisces, they know they will be rejected. They know. Irrational fear, saying no dismissal. Distance. Ooh, we, Pisces, told you. Distance, barrier, separation, and space. Pisces, I feel like in the past, you probably had to reject this person and give them space. Pisces, you probably even avoided this person. And I feel like you could have avoided this person because of childish behavior or a situation dealing with children. Just put it where it, where it goes. Pisces, this person is well aware that you will distance yourself. You will set up barriers, separate, and require space. They know that the game is over. They know you are rejecting it. Game over. It feels like, I don't want to say it like that because I don't want to be like, oh, Pisces, you won. But it feels like you've won. I'm going to be honest, because this person is being divinely guided. There's something about you bringing this person joy and laughter. And this person is needing to follow the signs to their soul, right? Because they know, they know this is what brings them joy. They are, they are changing their frequency, though, Pisces. It's an, inner, it's an inner thing happening with this person, for sure. Let's get some more on this. Baby Sharks, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. Again, if you're interested in booking me, email me. Give me one for children and avoid. Ooh, that popped right out. To the floor look divorce pisces for some of you there's def definitely i don't know if you have children with this person and you guys divorced this person could be in a situation where children is involved and divorce is on the table somebody could have definitely been avoiding ending a situation where children was involved right someone could be this it could have been one of those situations where it's for the kids because i see it here irreconcilable differences divorce final Look, wish. This per I do feel like this person wants to be free. There's a situation that this person is having to separate themselves from. They may have been avoiding. So let's see why divinely guided is here in euphoria. This person, see, this person definitely sees you as their flame locked down. See, this person has been in some sort of mental prison. But I feel like this mental prison and confinement, this is what's divinely guiding them. Somebody wants to be free and they want to be happy, right? This, and this is and this is why someone is going to have to follow the signs to their soul, right? 
give me one for this frequency and depth. I do feel like this person is a, this person is aligning to the frequency of love. They're getting they're 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 working through some ish deep down inside to raise their vibration. Because they do want to receive love from you. They they know that they're complicated. This is a complicated person, Pisces. They are. This is a complicated person. They're deep though. I don't mean it like complicated. But yeah, they're deep. There's a deep there's a depth to this person. And they are aware of that. But they're also aware of how important this uh relationship is to them too. Give me one give me one for frequency and depth for the baby sharks. Clarify this energy for Pisces. We're going to get some terror on this too, guys. Make sure y'all throw the girl to like. The negotiator. Yeah, Pisces. This is a sexual card for me. This is when someone wants to get it in. This is bargaining and begging. It, uh, and begging. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it just is. It's a sexual card. For like the sexual chemistry between you and this person is probably off the chain. Because they want to come towards you. Euphoria. You bring them a, 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 a state of joy and laughter and thrills. Some of you are definitely dealing with the Libra legals under here. Give me one for the fight and clarity. The inner warrior is being activated, Pisces. They're getting ready to fight for you and overcome their fears of love. Clarity with a clear mind and heart. Honesty, intention, and truth. I feel like this person is battling with themselves to do that, but they know what they want. Trash. This is that rejection. This person does not want to be rejected, Pisces. TikTok. And this person is all also there's also I feel like with TikTok deadline time running out, they this person knows that if they don't speak up, they have a they do have a fear of being rejected, but they know if they don't do something soon, time is a ticking here. Time is a ticking. Give me one for this game over situation here. They feel your wrath, Pisces, knowing you're no longer entertaining their half-hearted efforts, and then there's their rejection. Journal expression. I almost hear like if I say this to Pisces, well, if I express this, if Pisces says no on a table, yes, this person is concerned that if they put an offer on a table, that Pisces, you, you may just not accept said offer. I can tell you that as well. I'm gonna get some on this Pisces. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. If this is resonating for you, let me know. For sure. There is a situation for some of you. Either this person was avoiding growing the F up. Right, if they were avoiding like getting out of some sort of childish behavior, and that's why you guys you guys split, or there's a situation literally dealing with children that this person has been avoiding it. Like there, there's irreconcilable differences that cannot be avoided, and I do feel like someone has tried to do that. The children card literally says children are affecting this con connection. Be patient and allow them to resolve things for the highest of all good. I do feel like there could be someone that's literally avoiding leaving a situation because of children, whether you of them Pisces. Just put it where it goes. Or you two have children together and you guys broke up and you've been avoiding this person. I'm just going to tell you. Just put it where it goes. Give me one for this children energy. There you go. The Divine Feminine and the Knight of Wands, Mars energy. I do feel like there is lots of passion between you and this person. Either this person wants to separate from a wife or a child's mother. Or this person wants to rush in with you very hot and heavy. Pisces, you yourself could have could have separated from this person. Look, stalemate, two of swords, indecision. There's definitely a decision that needs to be made about this in this children's situation. Give me one for divinely guided euphoria and lockdown. This person has been in a mental prison, but they're being divinely guided to go after their happiness. Look, past, suffering. And look, look how they're looking. I'm telling you, they're being divinely guided out of this. They're being divinely guided to seek happiness, to seek their happiness. Temptation. And, and they're tempted as hell by you, Pisces. I know it. I know it. They know what they want. They know that they want you, Pisces. They do. Okay, give me one for frequency, depth, complexity, and the ghost. They know they want you, Pisces. They are trying to change their frequency. They are kind of looking in, looking with uh, they're looking deep within. They want to raise their vibration. They are a complicated person. They are. Look, fears, illusions. This is they're trying to work through that. They're trying to work through their fears and their illusions. Let me write down, Pisces. They know they want you. They do. I feel like they're trying to work through their fears, their limitations, their anxiety, their comfort zone, their overthinking, their negative outlook, self-worth. Yeah, they're trying to raise their vibration. I'm telling you, they're trying to feel better about themselves. They want to they want to make I almost feel like pers uh, Pisces, this person wants to come towards you. But when they come towards you, they want to come towards you in a way where they're feeling like they, they like they worked on their self-worth, healing, unworthiness, boundaries, expectations, values, and high vibrational. They want to come towards you, high vibrational Pisces. So give me one for the fight, the clarity, and the trash. 
Pisces, this person knows that they have to come through with the honesty, intention, or the truth. They know it. And there's an internal uh, strap, uh, struggle with this. Recall, and this is the Six of Cups. Reminiscing, memories, returning. Look cold. And they sit back and they don't say anything. Not yet, but they. I feel like they will because that's why the journal was here. Pisces, for some of you, if this person takes too long, when they finally do reach out, you're going to reject them. If they don't hurry the F up, I could feel that too. And they know it. Pisces, they know that the game is over. You may have already told them no, but I do feel like this person knows that if they don't say something, that, that this is really over. They know that you're not playing. Look, the high priest is yep, because there you go. You're not saying anything here. You're using your intuition. This is clarity, heightened intuition, truth, seeing things clearly. The third eye, this is you, and here's divine time. And there it goes again. I told you some of you are definitely dealing with a Sagittarius. But Pisces, this card says, trust divine time. And greater forces are at play. Release control. All is working out for this highest good. This is going to work out in the highest for, in the highest good for you, Pisces. You just got to trust divine time. And it's kicking in. This person is definitely... <coughs> They, they've been in a mental prison. I see it. And I do feel like there's some things that they've been trying to avoid that they just cannot avoid anymore in reference to you, in reference to some stuff they got going on in their life. This could be something dealing with their children, their family, right? This could be somebody who needs to distance themselves from their family. They may need, like, I don't know, someone could literally have, it could be something about moving away from family and things like that because I see that. That could be like a, uh, somebody who's like a mama's boy. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm picking up a little mama's boy energy, a mama's girl energy. Let's get some tarot on this, guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. Again, if you're interested in emailing me, I mean, booking me, email me. I miss y'all. It's been a little hectic. Okay, give me some for children and an irreconcilable differences and avoiding here in this divine feminine with the Knight of Wands energy for Pisces. Eight of Cups. I'm telling you, listen, Pisces. I don't know if you guys were together and had children and you walked away or if this person is in a situation where they have children and, and they need to, and there's children involved and they need to walk away. I, it, whatever happened, there, there is somebody walk. There is a walking away. And here's the hermit. Someone doing some soul searching. Ace of swords. Pisces, for some of you, this is just a childish ass person and you walked away and this person has been thinking about it, right? They, they Maybe they wanted to avoid commitment. They wanted to act childish and run around and be the knight of wands. Pisces, you could have definitely said, uh-uh, this person is thinking about it. But this person, is what, you know they're thinking about something because they're coming up as the hermit, someone who's doing some soul searching. And the ace of swords is they know the truth. They know the truth about how they feel about the six of cups. That's for sure. The moon, you involved with it. You could be dealing with a, a Virgo, air sign, water sign, two of pentacles. They going back and forth in their mind about it. Mm-mm-mm. So let's see. They are being divinely guided, Pisces. I feel like there's a clear path here. They could either stay in the past and suffer and stay in, and stay in this mental lockdown and this mental prison, or they could come after this euphoria. They could come after this joy and laughter. And the cards are saying you have met your divine flame. Just follow the signs of your soul and everything will, work, will occur in divine time. And I do feel like they are being divinely guided to do this strength. And this is definitely something they've been holding back on. You could be dealing with the Leo. Six of Swords, yep. I'm telling you. I do feel like this is the, I just the, the way this the way all of these people are in this in this card. This is this person. They taming themselves. They they've been holding back, but they're being divinely guided here. Six of Swords to move forward. Look, look, they fighting like hell too. They this person definitely is is a strong Wheel person, stubborn. They've been fighting the divine, the star, but it's getting ready to kick in. The six of pentacles. It's, it's getting ready to kick in. Give me one for frequency. This person definitely, I do feel like they're trying to raise their frequency. They are. They're trying to work through their fears and their illusions. There's something very deep and complex going on with this person, and they're aware. But they're also aware of how important it, it is to try to negotiate a situation with you. They definitely want... To be back with you. Yep, I told you. Two of Cups. I'm telling you, this person definitely sees you as a soulmate. There he goes again. King of Swords. The Knight of Swords. This person does see you as a soulmate. And I do feel like this person is trying to raise their vibration. Because with the King of Swords and a Nest and a Knight of Swords, this person could definitely speak harshly. They could definitely be defensive. They could speak harshly. They could definitely, I don't know. It feels very mean to a source yeah this person does not want to be mean they don't want to say anything mean to you pisces so whatever they're dealing with and this, if this person is being kind of silent right i do feel like this person is probably being kind of silent kind of being detached pisces because it is something that they're going through and i feel like this person does not want to speak to you 
in a negative way because this feels kind of negative because look here's the knight of cups i do feel like this is how this person feels about you yeah i feel that give me one more for this frequency energy this person knows that this person feels like you two are soulmates that you you got your guys relationship is important and complex the fool they want to they do want to take a leap towards you. you could be dealing with an aries seven of pentacles yeah they're waiting before they take this leap they're working through their fears they are they are some of you, this person is just knowing that they need to grow the F up. They need to mature. And I do feel like they may be getting ready to operate up at that frequency, right? So let's see why the Six of Cups is here. This person definitely sees it clearly about you. The, the, the fight now is with them internally, right? I don't care what the situation is. Now the, the, the battle is internally because their inner warrior is being activated. They're getting ready to fight for you and overcome their fears of love, their fears, period. Their fears have that there's limitations, anxiety. They're afraid about getting out of their comfort zone. They have a negative outlook on some things, right? I do feel like with trash, there is some things that they know that they definitely need to discard and throw out and let go of. Some things that they've been avoiding. They've been avoiding doing some things, but they are seeing some things clearly. And they do know what their intentions are for you. They see you as the six of cups. Give me some for this for Pisces. Why is this here for the baby sharks? justice you could be dealing with the libra i'm telling you could be a legal situation going on here pisces seven of swords the knight of wands see the world but this is ending pisces i told you i feel like this is an internal conflict this person might be the type of person i don't want to say it like this but they could be kind of sneaky in nature they could be the kind of person that likes to keep things to themselves right this could definitely be the kind of person that they they keep things to themselves they move around in a way. Pisces, I also feel like some of you discarded this person because of this behavior. The Seven of Swords and the Knight of Wands because they were sneaky and they thought they were going to get around. Pisces, they may know that the ju with justice, that the only way they can get you back is if they come in and they do right. And that cycle ends. This person could also be in the process of themselves trying to get themselves out of something and, and discard and throw out and, and definitely wrap up some sort of cycle somewhere else where they've learned some huge lessons. Here you are the Nine of Pentacles. Mm hmm I just heard this person say, I don't deserve you. Ooh, -wee, give me one more for this energy. There's an internal struggle this person is having. It's internal. Five of Pentacles. I'm telling you. Me versus me. Two of Pentacles. This person could also be having some money issues. There's some decisions that this person, there's definitely some decision that this decisions that this person is making. And they're moody and emotional. There's some things that's going on underneath. And it's but it's they, they do love you though, Pisces. Six of Cups, Ace of Swords. Yes, they love you. The hermit this person is soul searching they are not happy with some with some issue that they got going on here it could definitely be about money but it's definitely some things that they've been waiting on that has not come in yet and they're not happy about that pisces let's go ahead and see why the game is over while they know they know that you will reject them they do they know that you will if you haven't already you are the high priestess here pisces so your intuition is heightened you see the truth and you see things clearly period no matter what they say, you see things clearly. But I also feel like this person does want to speak. The journal, writing diary, keeping notes. This person wants to speak. Let me get one for game over first. Let's see why they fear your wrath. Six of wands. <laughs> they know. Oh, yeah, Pisces. <laughs> and first of all, if this person had an ego, they know you're not playing anymore. But I also feel like with the six of wands, they know. Emperor, they know you're not playing, Pisces. They know that you mean what you say. The Ten of Swords, yeah, that this issue is this issue will be over. For sure. The Emperor and the Ten of Swords, this is I don't play. Ooh. Ooh. The game is over, Pisces. Give me one for this rejection here for the baby sharks. What's this about? Temperance. You could definitely be dealing with a Sagittarius. This is patience and divine timing, though. I told you divinely guided. It's also reunion and reconciliation. Five of Cups. Pisces, if you rejected this person before, they're licking their they're licking their wounds by this, but they are gonna come back. But it's, it has everything to do with them having that internal fight, working on themselves. This person has been. This person is disappointed. They could have also been full of themselves too, and you had to reject them because of that. But there they go. The King of Wands, Six of Swords. They definitely ready to move past this. Give me one for the high priestess here. This is you. You see things clearly, for sure. The Hierophant. I feel you could be dealing with a Taurus, but Pisces, I feel like this is you seeing things clearly about what you want in a commitment, right? This is, this is commitment. This is higher level of commitment, right? I feel like you know what you want in a commitment. You do. And they know that you're commitment material for wands. Hell yeah. They know that you're commitment material. 
And you know what you want in a commitment too. You some of you are definitely dealing with a fire sign, a, a Sag, or a Taurus. I got Le I got Libra, Leo, Aries. Judgment. This person is having a wake-up call. Scorpio, the devil, Capricorn. They're having a wake-up call about some toxic-ish. Either some toxic-ish they did or some toxic-ish that they're dealing with. Death. Yep, they got an end. Pisces, they know the game is over. They're in their head about this, and they're holding back, and they're thinking about this for now. They are definitely having... They, they're definitely hurting about a money situation. But I do see them putting their foot down wanting to end some ish here. So let's see what the journal about. I feel like this is them wanting to express Pisces. Let's see what they want to express. Three of Wands that they're waiting on their ships to come in. They could also have been waiting on you to reach out, but they know that you're not. So they're going to have two page of wands. Right. If they thought that they, if they thought that they could wait, if they thought that they could just be patient and you would reach out, they may definitely be realizing that you're not. And I also feel like, Pisces, they may also be well aware that you are recommitting yourself to other things here with the high refine. Give me one more for this journal energy for Pisces. This video is longer than I anticipated. <laughs> the tower. Yeah, Pisces, they got something to say. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. But, Pisces, they are going to communicate. And it's going to come in. It's quite the surprise here, I feel like. The Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, they're coming in to offer you something. They're going to express something. There's something that they want to say that they've been waiting to say, Pisces. I feel like Temperance is telling me that they've been... Um, balancing the head and the heart because they're being divinely guided they are they've been in some sort of mental prison behind something but they are coming in offering you this ace of pentacles I also feel like with the knight of wands this person works a lot they either do deliveries or they move around a lot and this person could also be in the process of wrapping up something with someone else. You just have to let me know, baby sharks. Put it where it goes. I do see this person coming in, definitely offering you an ace of pentacles here. Some sort of seed that can be planted to grow into something very abundant. Baby sharks, I love, 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 love you. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share if I got it right for you. Email me if you're interested in booking. Stay beautiful, stay blessed, stay high vibing. And I'll bring us messages again. Bye, Pisces.